This is your first assignment for P3 reading class. With me, the one and only Mr. Izo. Are you ready? So, what you have to do is reading aloud. Reading aloud is reading with a loud voice. So, everybody can hear. That's the point. So, if you are not reading aloud, that's called silent reading or even it's very... Uh, quiet reading okay so I will give you example of how to read aloud how to read aloud the book the book is Don Quixote right Adventures of a Spanish Knight by Miguel de Cervantes Are you ready I will show you how to read aloud Adventures of a Spanish Knight Many years ago, in a place called La Mancha in Spain, an old man lived with his niece. The old man had a big house with many fields. The house and the fields needed a lot of work, but the old man never had time. He was always too busy reading stories about night. Stories are wonderful, but the man read all day, every day, and never did any work. You, and your books, his knees said to him, go out and look at your fields. And I'm reading about the land of the Black River, said the old man. Ah, this night and their serious stories, his niece said angrily. The old man read more and more. And soon, he read all day. And all night too. He sold his books because he wanted to buy more books. Hmm. And because he never worked and never slept, he began to have many silly ideas in his head. I want to be a great man like the nice in my book. He told his niece. I want to fight giants for my lady love. Ah, don't be silly, uncle. That is niece. There are no knights now. There are no giants and you don't have a lady home. But the old man had more and more silly ideas. One morning, one morning he suddenly thought of something. Ah, there's a suit of armor in the house. He remembered. No, no, no. Where is it? At last, he found the suit of armor. It was old and dirty. But the man cleaned it carefully. The helmet was broken, so he put it together with green ribbons. There, he said. Now I can be a knight and have great adventures. Yeah. Well, guys, that's how you read aloud. So everybody can hear you, and then they enjoy your reading. That's it. Thank you. All right. Bye.